Stephen. 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 Huh. Oh, Ashley, what are you doing here? I was downstairs trying to wake you up. It's almost 7.30, and you need to get started with your life job, especially since today is Friday. Wait, what? Oh, shit. You're like Ashley. I almost have other slept. Damn it. And today is Friday, too, so this is a busy day for all Lyft drivers. I better get going. I made you some egg sandwiches for breakfast, honey. That's fine, babe. I'll eat them in the car, and I'll see you later. Okay, let's see who needs to be picked up today. See, I got some takers. All right, let's get this job started. Alright, just one more passenger to pick up and drop off, and my shift is just about over. Hello, I take it you must be my ride. No, it can't be. That's the same woman who harassed my younger brother and his family at the AMC theater. Well, as much as I don't want to serve her, I also don't want to lose my job, so I have no choice. Yes, I'm your right, so hop in. I got to say, this is a real nice SUV you got here. Why, thank you even though your compliment was not necessary. I just wonder how you were able to afford this. Hey, that is none of your business, and besides my wife bought this car for me as a gift. Whatever. There's no way your wife could have afforded this, unless it was probably drug money. Excuse me, but what did you just say? Nothing. I'm enjoying the ride. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Anyways, where are you going then? I'm going to McDonald's to get me and my friends some happy meals. Um, no offense man, but aren't you too old for happy meals? I like happy meals too, but I stopped ordering them when my wife told me not to. Hey! Don't you criticize what food I want to eat, I can order whatever I want. Whoa, hey! It was just a question, no need to get nasty with me. I'm just saying that Happy Meals are for kids, and you're a grown woman, so chances are even if you order a Happy Meal, they're not going to take it. Well, they're gonna have to, and if they don't, then I will sue McDonald's in court and make them pay me $5,000 in compensation. Are you insane or something? You can't sue a business just because they can't give you what you want. That is not how the world works. Well, do you want to know something? I am Taryn McDorinson, and the world revolves around me and I get whatever the hell I want. No, 
The world does not revolve around you. You are just a regular bystander. Now, will you please be quiet? I'm trying to concentrate. Fine, whatever. Og, what is taking so long? I need to get to my destination now. Taring, will you please calm down? I am only one mile away from your destination, so you're going to have to wait. No. I demand you go a little faster, so I can be there quick. Ma'am, I'm going within the speed limit, and I can't go faster than that. It's a lift policy in the law. If I go beyond the speed limit, I could get into trouble, and even get fired from my job. No. I don't care what happens to you. You heard what I said. Speed up now. Miss, stop it right now. Also, you look very familiar. You're the entitled Karen who harassed my younger brother Dave at the AMC theater last year. Really? I had no idea that the motor car crybaby has a big brother. I bet you're probably as much of a crybaby as he is. Hey! Watch your mouth, and don't talk about my brother like that. He and I misbehaved a lot in past years, but it's because we both have mental disabilities, and we can't control ourselves because of it. Whatever. I bet maybe the baby shows are what make you and your brother throw tantrums. No. TV shows have nothing to do with people's behavior, and so what if they do? At least my brother and I are not selfish, pretty, and delusional like you. Oh, 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 oh. How dare you call me all of those names? I am so going to sue you in court for this. Ma'am, that is enough. I tried to be nice to you, despite that you bullied my brother in the past, but all you've been doing is getting confrontational with me and talking a lot of shit. You have two choices, either you behave yourself and enjoy the ride, or I'm going to have to notify my boss about your behavior and have me kick you out of my car. No. You will not kick me out of your car, because I own this car, and I will make sure you get fired from your job. Shut up, right now. This is your last warning. Behave yourself or I will tell my boss about this, and I also have you on camera too. I have a better idea. How about I give you this instead? Oh 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 You did not just hit me with a water bottle. That's it. I'm calling my boss. No, please. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello, boss. It's Steven Johnson. Oh, Steven. What seems to be the problem? I have a female customer in my car who is being very disrespectful to me and acted entitled claiming that she owns my car. Not only that, but she tried to force me to drive beyond the speed limit and even hit me with a water bottle. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Yes, I am. What do you say I should do with her? I think it's best you have the civilian removed from your vehicle. We do not tolerate this kind of behavior from our passengers. Okay, thank you, goodbye. All right, Taryn, you heard what the boss said. Get out of my car right now. No. I demand you put your manager back on the phone right now so I can talk to him. I do not deserve to be treated like this. Jerrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Why do you look so angry? Oh, you're not going to believe this Ashley, but one of my passengers was an entitled Karen. What? You're joking. No, I'm not. She assumed that you bought my SUV with money from selling drugs. Then she got very nasty to me when I told her that she was too old for Happy Meals when I was driving her to McDonald's. Then she got very impatient with me and tried to force me to speed drive, when in fact, it is against the law to drive beyond a speed limit. Oh, my, goodness. Are you serious? I can't believe she did all those things. And how dare she talk shit about me like that. I bought that freaking SUV for you on your 27th birthday when we had Kendra. I had to work my ass off to save up my money for that car, and I even had to sell our old car to afford it. I know right. I can't believe that bitch. At least I kicked her out of my car and even told my boss about it. Well, it serves her right, that entitled Karen had no right to disrespect you like that. Ugh, I'm so stressed out right now after today. I need to relax. All right then, honey. I'll let you take a rest on the couch for a little while, and I'll go and pick up the kids from school. Okay, thank you so much, babe. Taryn, what's wrong, bestie? And where is our happy meals? Well, uh, Karen, you're not going to believe this, but my Lyft driver was very disrespectful towards me. He told me that we are too old for Happy Meals, and then he berated me, and told me to get out his car, simply because I was rightfully yelling at him. Oh. My. God. How dare he do that to you, he's so going to regret this. I know, and what makes it worse is that he told me he was Dave Johnson's older brother. Dave Johnson? You mean that motor car crybaby that we yelled to at the AMC theater for not giving us our popcorn? Yes, that's him. And his brother's name is Steven Johnson. Ugh, just how many siblings does that motor car crybaby have? I mean, I already had an encounter with his youngest sister at Walmart, and not only did she try to stop me from cutting in line, so I pushed her out of my way, and she got confrontational with me and kept forcing me to move to the back of the line. She also got me arrested. Oh my god. I can't believe she did that. This is bullshit. Everyone needs to understand that the world revolves around you, me, Arthur, and Larry Loud. You got that right, bestie. I say we should sue Stephen and his family in court and demand $3,000 in compensation. No. I don't think that's going to work anymore, Karen, because the judge said he is not going to hold any more cases if you're involved. Ugh, I hate to admit this, but you're right, Taryn. So, do you have a better idea, Karen? Aha! Uh -huh. I got it! What is it, Karen? Maybe tomorrow, when that motor car crybaby drives home, you should follow him back to his house, and burn his car with gasoline and matches. We have those things in the garage that you can use. Karen, that is the most diabolical revenge plan I've ever heard. But I love it, starting tomorrow, I'm going to show that motor car crybaby a lesson he'll never forget. MWA <laughs> Alright, I got the gasoline and the matches. Now all I need to do is wait for the motor car crybaby in his car to drive by, and then I will follow it to his home. Yes, that looked like his car that just drove by, now's my chance. Oh, I better hide in this bush quick before he sees me. Hey honey, come inside, I made you lunch. Oh joy, thank you so much, I'm so hungry. Alright, Steven is in the house, now's my chance for revenge. Take this you motor car crybaby. Hey, 
Hey, what do you think you're doing? And what are you doing on our property with those matches and gasoline? Why don't you brats go back inside? This is none of your business. Excuse us, but that's our dad's car you're messing with. And you look familiar, aren't you that passenger dad told us he was driving with, who also disrespected him yesterday? Like I said, none of your business. Now, are you brats going to go back in the house, or am I going to have to ground you both for a long time? And you, kid, put that phone away right now. Before I swipe that away from you and break it. You know that recording people without their permission is illegal. Absolutely no. You are not breaking my property, and I have every right to record you when you're doing something wrong. We saw you pouring gasoline on our dad's car, and it looks like you were about to burn it. And another thing, you're not our mom, so you can't ground us. In fact, we're getting our parents out here right now. I think our dad will be surprised when he sees he has an uninvited guest over. Hey, mom, mom and dad, dad get, get out, out here. here. There's a stranger, There's a stranger on, our on our property. Yeah, kids, what's wrong? Hey. Aren't you that entitled Karen that my husband told me about yesterday? Who harassed my brother-in-law at the AMC theater last year, and even assaulted my husband with a water bottle? No, that is not true, and that wasn't me yesterday. Your husband is lying. Stop saying he's lying. He got you on his car camp for KFC's sake, and you perfectly match the description he gave me. A woman wearing a light blue shirt dark blue pants, blonde hair, and dark blue sunglasses. Maybe we should show you the footage my husband's camera caught, then you'd understand. Um, 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 that's not me. Are you serious? That looks just like you. Yeah, and guess what, Dad? She somehow followed you. What? You can't be serious. Yes, we are. We were about to go outside for a walk, until we saw this lady splashing gasoline all over your car, and we saw her taking out a match, and it looks like she was about to set your car on fire. Tearing, is this true? You better tell us right now or else. All right, fine, you caught me. I was angry yesterday at you for kicking me out of your car. So, I followed you all the way to your home and tried to burn your car to teach you a lesson about mistreating the most important person in the world. Um, is your husband all right? No, James. I think Dad is gonna blow. I agree, sis. It sure seems like it. Everybody brace for impact. Absolutely not. Oh, 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 You entitled. Stupid. Ass. Bitch. You. Hat. No idea. How furious you just made me. Not only did you disrespect me on my job, and assault me with a water bottle, but you had the freaking nerve to just dog me, just so you could try and destroy my car over not getting what you want. Are you absolutely damn freaking kidding me right now? You should know the burning people's property is considered arson. Okay, okay, I get it now, and I'm so sorry. Let's just forget that this ever happened. Really, you're sorry? Hell no! I doubt that, if you're really sorry, you would have understood why you're in trouble, and your apology is absolutely denied. You should know that this is a serious crime. You really think this is a game bitch? Well, let me tell you something, you... just... lost. Because I'm now going to call the police on your sorry ass. No, no. I am not going back to jail again, just leave me alone. Hey. Where do you think you're going? Hey, get off. 
Help, help, somebody help me. This crazy lady and her children are holding me hostage and are trying to kidnap me. Help, help, help. Oh, shut up, Taryn. We're doing no such thing. Yeah, so stop playing the victim card. You are staying here until the cops come. We are simply keeping you from running away. So stop struggling. It'll only make things worse. Oh, thank goodness you're here, officer. Let me explain everything. Hey! Save it. I got a call from a man named Steven Johnson, saying that you threw a water bottle at him yesterday, when he was on the job driving you. He even sent a camera footage of the incident to the police station. That's right. My kids told me that they caught her splashing gasoline on my car, and was about to set it on fire. It's true, officer. I even recorded it on my phone. All right then, show me the footage. Take this, you motor car crybaby. <laughs> Officer, please, that's not me. My God. Where did you get this kid? What do you mean this isn't you, Terrin? That is you. No. Please, I can explain. You're under arrest, turn around and put your hands behind your back. Wait, you can't arrest me for this. Oh, can't I? You're under arrest for assault, stalking, trespassing, and attempted arson on a vehicle. You have the right to remain silent, if you give up that right, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. I hate you all. Mr. Stephen Johnson, I'm so sorry that you and your family had to deal with this woman. You will have a nice rest of your day. You too, officer, and thank you so much for believing me. You're very welcome. And I'll be taking this tank of gasoline and the matches that Terran had for evidence. Um, I seriously cannot believe that entitled Karen. Thanks to her, my car smells like gasoline and I have to wash it all off. I really hope she gets a long jail sentence for this. Dad, are you alright? Yeah, do you want to sit down and watch TV with us? Sure kids, I'd love to. Man, you don't look too good dad. Yeah, and we feel so bad for what that lady did to you. I know kids, and I'm so sorry both of you and your mother had to see that. Well, at least Terry got arrested. Still though, we feel so bad that you had to go through all that, you didn't deserve it. Yeah, I think we should do something to make you feel better. How about this dad, if James and I are not too busy with schoolwork, maybe we can both spend time with you, just you me and my brother. How does that sound? Really? You kids will do that for your old dad? Of course. We're family and we're always here to support each other. Aw, you kids. I love you both so much. This is your cell, Terry. You will stay here for a month. Should you cause any misconduct with anyone here, your jail time will be extended. And another thing, we got a call from Uber about what you did, and they said that you are strictly bad from using Lyft services for a whole year, now enjoy your stay. Someone let me out, someone let me out, someone let me out. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Did you guys enjoy the video? Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and hit the bell notification to get notified. See ya. Have a nice day.